Hi, my name is Stuart Lynch, and this is the first in a series of videos where I'm going to share with you some of the apps that I use that either support or supplement my path to becoming a well-rounded iOS developer. I have a background in education, and besides having been a teacher, I'm also a lifelong learner. And one of the keys to learning is being able to research, organize information, and be able to share that information with others. In this video, I'm going to show you an app that I have absolutely fallen in love with. It's called Raindrop.io. If you're interested in finding out how to use this app and how you might want to use it, then keep watching. Raindrop is a all-in-one bookmark manager. It allows you to save anything from around the web, organize it with ease, find information quickly, and share your collections with others. In addition to it being a full-fledged desktop application and web application, there are extensions for your browsers too, and there's an iOS and Android app as well, and we'll get to that shortly. You can access Raindrop from any computer. Just go to app.raindrop.io and sign in. I'm going to switch over to the desktop app, and you can download the app from the Raindrop site as well. I'll leave a link in the notes below. The functionality is basically the same, but I prefer using a dedicated app. There are some minor UI issues on the web browser that don't exist in the desktop app. I'll also show you the iPad and iPhone app as well before I finish. All your data is synced automatically. There are no device count limitations that you can sync with. You can import bookmarks from any number of browsers and other services that you may already be using. And this is your chance to consolidate everything into a single location. One of the big features of Raindrop.io is that it is more than a bookmark manager. You can use it to upload and store other things like PNG images or GIFs like this. It also supports JPEG and SVG vector images. You can upload videos or PDFs too, like this. The items are uploaded and stored on the raindrop.io website. The main feature that I use it for, though, is to store bookmarks for researching and keeping up to date with iOS app development in Swift. If you have a paid account, your Raindrop.io will also store a permanent copy. Raindrop automatically creates copies of all web pages and files in your collection. That way, even if an item changes or is taken offline, you'll be able to open that version that you have saved in Raindrop. I'll get into the differences between a paid and free account at the end, but all accounts provide you with a web preview window right within the app or web version. If the item you have bookmarked has a reader view available, you get that option in the preview as well, where you can adjust the font and size or change from dark to light mode or vice versa, depending on how you have your preferences set. You will also have the ability to view and sort your collections in different ways. For example, the list view is what you've seen so far. This has a large thumbnail along with the title and some other metadata. But you have some other options as well. Let's check out the headline view that I've used for this collection. I thought that the card view was more appropriate to display some of my YouTube videos and the mood board for apps that I have on the App Store. How you display your bookmarks and what you want displayed in the list is up to you. You also have a number of different options for sorting, whether that be by date, alpha by name or alpha by site. The choice can be different for every collection. You also have the ability to sort individual collections manually. When I'm researching for an article or when I want to create a new app, and I need more information on a particular framework, I do a lot of reading and upfront research. Raindrop.io is great for this. I create a new collection and store all of my bookmarks related to that particular topic in that collection. For example, let's say I'm going to create an app that uses CloudKit, but as I'm not very familiar with it, I want to store all existing and all new bookmarks in a collection that I can refer to quickly. I can simply create a new collection like this. However, I have a pro account, 
And with a pro account, you can create nested collections. And for me, it makes much more sense to create it as a nested collection within my techniques collection. So I'm going to delete this one and I'll right click on techniques and choose create a nested collection. I'll give it a name and now I can choose an icon. I can choose from one of the many predefined ones or colors. I can even upload my own image file, as you can see I've done for these collections. Or I can point to an image URL. I think I can find one in the default so. So here I'll search for the word cloud and choose one. Raindrop can search by bookmark title, description, URL, tag, type, and the entire content of a web page or PDF if you have the pro version. Let's see if I have any bookmarks already that discuss CloudKit. I do. So I can select them either one at a time or multiple items and drag them into my CloudKit collection. I'll grab 16 of them and move them in. The number doesn't show up immediately, but a refresh will do the trick. Before I move on to sourcing more references to CloudKit, let me show you what else you can do with collections. You can share your collections with others. If you right click on a collection and choose Edit, there's a sharing item. When you turn it on, you get a link. Let Raindrop notify your colleagues and invite them to share and view your bookmarks. You can optionally let them work with you and add to or remove items from your collection. They will get an invite that looks like this. Alternatively, people can subscribe to the collection via an RSS feed, or you can just publish the link URL to enable read-only access. Okay, let's start finding more resources. When you install the browser extension for your preferred browser, you get a mini version of it in the browser toolbar. You'll get access to all of your bookmarks from within your browser of choice, and you can even preview the content without leaving your current page. Okay, let's find more CloudKit resources. New in iOS 13 is NS Persistent CloudKit Container. I want to search for more information on this and add bookmarks to my CloudKit collection. Here's the Apple documentation, probably a good place to start. All I have to do is click on the Raindrop Toolbar button, select the collection, and click on Add Bookmark. I can even start adding tags and modify the title or add my own description. Notice as well, if you're on a page that has a bookmark added, the Toolbar button displays a star. Let's take a look at the iPad application. It looks very familiar, doesn't it? And note that the last bookmark I added is now within my CloudKit collection. When I'm browsing resources on my iPad, I can use the Share button. I've enabled raindrop.io as one of my share sources, so I can tap on it, and again choose my collection to save it in. And while I'm here, I'll tap the Edit button, and I can see that I can edit the title, etc., but also add tags. The Pro version scans the text and provides me with some suggested tags. I'll choose a few so that I can find things easier in my raindrop searches in the future. Back in the app, I can pull the refresh on the list and see my number change to 18 and pull on the list view to update the list. Of course, I can also preview any of my bookmarks directly from within the raindrop.io app. A quick refresh of the desktop app will update my list here as well. I'll just choose the command R shortcut to do that. You can see that my tags are all there too. Finally, now let's take a look at the iPhone app for raindrop. You should have no problem figuring it out. Let's switch to Safari, where I see I have another Apple document that would be useful. 
Again, like on the iPad, I can tap on the Share button and choose Raindrop. I'll pick my collection and save it to the My CloudGate collection. Switching back to the app and a pull to refresh reveals the added item. So how do I get Raindrop and what does it cost? Go to the raindrop.io website and download the browser extension and desktop app and visit the App Store for the iPhone, iPad app. Raindrop.io will be your forever home for your bookmarks. This page outlines some of the finer points that you can do with Raindrop.io. How does the Pro Plan differ from the free version? In short, you'll have nested structures of collections, more space for your uploads, and the ability to back up to Dropbox or Google Drive. You also have some additional tools to help keep your bookmarks clean, such as removing any duplicates. Even without the pro cost, bookmarks.io is a fantastic tool. Here's a comparison of the free versus pro features. For only $3 a month, you get these additional features. I took advantage of the 20% discount by purchasing a yearly subscription. I have no affiliation with the developer and was not paid to produce this video. I'm just a very satisfied customer. I hope you've enjoyed this video and have learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That will encourage me to keep on creating more like this in an effort to help new and existing iOS developers hone their skills and move on to the next level. I am most active on Twitter, so be sure to follow me there and get all the latest news of what I'm up to.